Guns UK31 has a really good channel, you should check him out, ask me. Do um, the sort of butane jet lighters I have work when wet? So I thought what we'd do is do the test properly, completely dunk them, then try them. And the problem with ferrocium lighters, or sort of flint lighters unlike these, is that when that uh, gets wet, uh, these aren't, these are obviously piezoelectric ignition. Uh, when sort of ferrocium type lighters get wet, is they won't create a spark and you have to wait for them to dry out like the old type of Bix and clippers. Um, but electric ignition lighters generally do a lot better. So I thought I'd try all of them. For test sake, I'm going to put them all on max and hopefully you'll be able to see the flame because with lighting it might be a bit difficult on some of the lighters. But I'm going to completely dunk the lighter for a few seconds, take it out, then see if they'll light. So, so first we have the Torjet Turbo Flame, and this is like a Bic style lighter, it's the cheapest of the lot. Uh, these are less than a pound each, so that's been under a good few seconds. Let's shake it dry. Okay. Can't get an ignition on this one. Let's try shaking it a bit more. But no, this one, I can't seem to light after it's been submerged. When it's dried out, it should light again, but currently it is not making a spark and it's not lighting. So this has failed the test. And this is complete submersion rather than just sort of dripping some water on it. Next, we're going to try this one's marked as a prof, but these are also Coney's and probably a few other brands do them sort of jet lighter. So again, we're going to dunk it. See some bubbles have come out. Now we're going to see if we can light it. Let's give it a shake dry again. I can see a bit of a spark, but we're not actually having any luck lighting it again. You can hear the gas is escaping, but it won't actually light. So I'm going to let that one dry off again, which is a bit of a shame that this one has failed to test because I really like this lighter. And next we're going to try the Kony Triple Flame lighter. This one. So again, I'll open the cap so it's fair. You can see it's working now. Put it in for a few seconds, and maybe this one won't go either, but we'll see. This one actually feels like it's giving off a bit of heat, so this seems like it's going to light faster than the others. Now I'm getting heat off this, which is a bit odd, but I can't see a flame. There we go. That lit just then. Let's try again. And we're lighting. I think we've only got two rather than three jets, but that did light. It sounds like the gas ports might be a bit blocked, because it's not lighting again. So what I'm going to do is now let all three of these dry off a bit, then we'll try test them again and see if we can get them to light. Out of all the lighters, the Torjet is the far first to start reliably lighting. The quartz electric in all of them was working fine, so I think there was water trapped between the gas outlet valve and the um, piezoelectric. So as you can see, that's working absolutely fine now. So this lighter dried out in about 10 minutes. Uh, I'll give you a time estimate when the others are finished drying out. The Kony Triple Flame is now firing more often but not reliably. You'll notice the jets don't look right, so I think that might need more time to dry off before the butane ports open up properly. But hopefully when they're open the lighter will function as normal. Actually I think one of those is looking like a normal jet now. Ah oh yeah, it seems to be stabilising. So the problem with this was air getting inside the actual butane outlet port, not the ignition system. This is now lighting the proper triple flame, but you can actually hear that there's water in the lighter mechanism. So that should dry out completely soon and then work as normal, but this is working as second place. 
and the angled jet lighter is finally lighting up. Um, despite it being my favourite, it's actually been the slowest to dry out. But yeah, all of these are now working that they've dried out. It just took quite a while for it to happen. So what I'd recommend really is if you want one of these lighters for a survival situation where you might get it wet, buy some sort of waterproof case to put it in and then they should function fine. But I'm saying it did surprise me because this one came last and this came first. And it surprised me that the cheapest Type 1 came first, but maybe that's just because of how the mechanism works inside, I don't know. Anyway, this came first, the prop came last, and second we have this one, which I still don't know if it's... Ah, there we go, yeah. Got two of the flames working, not the third. Or is it the angle I'm looking at? Yeah, one of the ports still needs to dry out a bit, but we've got two fully working flames and one that's a bit intermittent. Saying that it's now cut out again, so it still needs to dry out a bit more. But I say let's get them second because at least it started lighting up earlier. So yeah, surprisingly the cheapest one dries out the fastest out of a lot of those. Um, but yeah, as said, if you want it in a survival situation, either get a butane lighter which has a waterproof case and you seal the waterproof case those do exist, or you get one, like buy a waterproof case for one and fit it in there. Anyway, um, thanks to Guns UK31 for the suggestion, and surprisingly the Torjet came first at being the fastest one to relight after getting soaked.